Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Desk Studio. I am your man in Japan, Jay Contra. And if you saw my uh, Tokyo pickup video, you know that this is a very special game for me because Knife Edge Nose Gunner not only completes my N64 collection, but it also is the first ever new N64 game I've ever bought. I bought this from Friends, a small video game shop in Akihabara. It cost me $18, including tax. And actually, this is actually, it's not a perfect copy because apparently I think, maybe you can see it on the camera here, it's got a couple of nicks on the box. Now, I don't want to say that this game is sealed because, well, I mean, it, but it, it's obvious. This is a sealed game, isn't it? No, well, so I believe that this outer shell, actually, let's just start breaking it off uh, so that I can start doing something and giving you something to look at while yapping. So you notice the tape here. You can see, uh, maybe you can see, get it in the light. Maybe you can see the tape here. This is not, I might have to get out the scissors for this. I am like 90% sure that most Japanese, well, most particularly Nintendo games, before the GameCube, I believe that Super Famicom, Famicom, and N64 boxes were not sealed. I think they were just left out like this. Hold on, let's see. So we're taking off the outer shell here. This would have been put on by the video game, by, by Friends, the retailer, after getting this game. I do not believe that jet, that retail N64 games were sealed. It's crazy. Let's take a look at it. So you can see here, the box is in really good shape. It's got a couple nicks on it. That's okay. I mean, probably taking this back to America, I'm gonna be doing more damage to this than anybody could do here in the country. But as you can see, I don't believe this has a seal. Like Japan, it's it must have been very trusting of people because these shops would have been selling this. So this is a 1998 N64 game. I believe it came out in November. This probably would have retailed for, I mean, at least 9,000 yen, like at least $90. I don't see an MSRP anywhere here on the box. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just open it. Here we go, this is it. First new N64 game. You can feel, oh, you can feel how this is like, you can see along here, a tell of how an old game will look is that this part has been opened so many times that it will eventually the paint will start or the, the ink will start chipping away. You can even see it just from opening it once. So here, I'll just open it all the way. This is a new game. Why not? Maybe you can see that it's already just by opening it once. It's already brought like some very small white nicks all along this edge here. That's interesting. I didn't realize it was going to damage the box just by physically opening it. But it's, you know, it's Knife Edge is kind of an unremarkable game. <laughs> it's not like it's got a ton of value to it. So here we've got the game itself, plastic wrapper. Let's take a look at it. Any defects? I don't see yeah, I don't see anything. Look at the oh, look at those contacts, those untouched contacts. Got the back here, I think. Yeah, looks good to me. I don't see any markings or anything. I wonder if these labels would have been attached by a machine or if they, it must have been by a machine because these labels are almost always perfectly aligned. I've never seen them off center, at least on Japanese copies. So make sure you've got the inner, the inner box here. Oftentimes they'll take off a few bucks. If you're buying a used copy of an N64 game, these are some, things you'll want to look out for. So you've got the game itself, plastic bag. Actually, let me put this away just so that I don't mistake it with the other plastic from the game. Inner casing, and then we've got the, uh, oh, this is interesting. Okay, so this is a warranty card. So here, the Knife Edge warranty card from Chemco. This should also have a survey on it. Yeah, see here, it's got a little survey. It's like, um, what did you think about playing Knife Edge? Like, uh, it was not fun, so kind of not fun, fine. Uh, it was fun and very fun. Uh, knife Edge, how did you know, how did you find out about Knife Edge? 
a uh, bunch of other questions. Yeah. So this has been, I mean, a warranty card. See, what's interesting is they've got warranty here, but I, I, like, I don't know if this was, if N64 games were legally covered by a warranty. So we've got that card. This is actually something that is pretty much in every Japanese game up until even probably the PlayStation 3 era. Like, especially with Nintendo games, they often had a card just like this, even in the GameCube era. Here we've got the AC adapter warning. Um, telling you to, I think, yeah, make sure you plug it in right. Although I think usually for the Super Famicom, they often tell you not to have the Super Famicom AC adapter plugged in when you're not using it because it's still drawing power for some reason. I've actually like, sometimes I forgot to, to I've kept the AC adapter plugged in and it'll like run, it'll still be hot even though I don't have a console turned on. So I don't know what's going on here. Oh yeah, see it says here, um, after using, after you finished playing your game and you've turned the console off, take the AC, unplug the AC adapter, which I mean, I don't think the N64 one runs hot, although the Super Famicom and the Famicom one definitely does. So we've got that and then we've got here the instruction manual. Yep, looks, looks fine to me. <laughs> so that's it. That's I guess what you can expect from a new N64 game. So this was Knife Edge Nose Gunner. This, I think, at the very minimum, this is what you can expect. Sometimes, some games will have a little bit more, uh, you may have seen in some of my Pokemon unboxings that they had, they would have inserts for like, you know, move, a movie that was coming out, um, certain accessories that would, that you could buy that would work with the game. But this looks like the bare minimum. You've got the box, You've got the game in the plastic. You've got the plastic casing, I guess you could, the, in, the inner box in Japanese, it's literally called the inner box. You've got the, war the warranty slash survey card that you could mail in. I wonder what would happen if you mailed it in today. <laughs> You've also got the, uh, the AC adapter warning and the manual itself. So that's it. That's what's apparently in a box of a new, sort of sealed, again, I honestly do not think I would be very careful when buying a new Japanese uh, game. I believe CD-based games like PlayStation, GameCube, um, what else would have been CD? I, even Sega CD, PC Engine CDs, even maybe even PC Engine Who card games, those might have a factory seal to them. But I definitely believe that these N64 Super Famicom and even Famicom boxes are not sealed, which is crazy because again, these would have been, especially N64 games, would have been very expensive at retail. So to not have them sealed, it just shows you how um, Japanese businesses would treat the consumer. They wouldn't expect them to, you know, pick these up or steal them or steal the inside of the boxes or anything. So that's it. Uh, this has been Knife Edge Nose Gutter. My N64 collection is now complete. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're an N64 collector, I hope this was useful to you. I've been your man in Japan, Jay Contra, saying thanks for watching. See you next time, and mahalo.